Okay, uh, we're going to continue with projectile motion in this problem. And uh, in this problem, we're going to do 1289 in the 13th edition. So let's just have a look quickly at what's going on here. So we have this, um, this athlete here that is about to throw a ball or do, well, obviously it can't be shot put, it'll be a ball because it's going 50 meters. But it says here, it is observed that the time for the ball to strike the ground is at B. So this, uh, this person is throwing from A. It travels 50 meters horizontally. That's the range, right? We know that. To B. And uh, it takes 2.5 seconds. And the question is, determine the speed, VA. The, that's the original uh, velocity, the original speed there. And the angle theta A, at which the ball was thrown. Okay. So it's got an original height of 1.2 and a final height of 0 depending where you take your reference from, okay? But just take note of that. So let us write out information, okay? Um, looks something like that, okay? That's 50 meters from there to there. That's We know that that's our range, okay? There's B, there's A. Original VA, we don't know. Original angle, we don't know. Okay. And that height there is 1.2. Okay, so what is our general approach? Well, let us see if we can analyze horizontal and vertical information. What is this? This is obviously our initial vertical height. What is 50? That is uh, the range. So that's horizontal information, vertical information. Okay. So what's the question? We want our original velocity and the angle, the original speed and the angle at which that ball is thrown. Okay. So let's have a look here. Let's see what we can do. What's, what's happening in the horizontal direction? Well, we can look at this equation, right? V zero X T. Okay, so remember, look at your horizontal information and your vertical information. If we rearrange this, we get what? x minus x0 is our original velocity in the x direction times time. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. They said time is 2.5 seconds. So they give us the time taken from there to there. t equals 2.5. So what is this here? That is my range, x minus x0. So the final position in the horizontal, final horizontal position minus the initial horizontal position is my range. Okay? So, and I, so I've got this, yes. Do I have my original velocity in the x direction? No. Essentially, that's kind of what I'm looking for, right? Because we're looking for our original velocity. We're looking for our original velocity. This original velocity is made up of a v vx original and vy original initial okay so we've got t we've got that so let's just plug in here and see what's happening that's 50 that's our range and we've got v0x and we've got time which is 2.5 okay so we're getting somewhere okay very good um okay so we're getting somewhere what's happening in the vertical direction Okay, um, let's just see. Um, remember, what's the next step? If you don't know what to do, just begin to systematically go through these, um, these equations. We just went through this one. We saw it did give us some information. What about this one? Vy equals V0y minus GT. Will that help us? Well, yes, we're looking for V0. Right, that's what you're looking for. That V0 there is the VA over here. That's the same thing, right? But do we have the, the um, just wait for it to focus. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's not focusing. Do we have the original or the final velocity in the Y? We don't have it. Do we have the original velocity? No. And we've got time. So we are looking for that, but we don't have... Uh, any other, we don't have the final vertical velocity. Okay, so what about this one? This next, um, this next equation? Do we have the final y position? Yes. 
Do we have the original initial? Yes. Do we have time? Yes. We don't have V0. Why? Because, I mean, that's what we're looking for. So we've got everything here except V0Y. Okay. So how about we use the second one? So let's put that down. We say Y equals Y0 plus V0 in the Y, the initial velocity in the Y, times time minus a half GT squared. Now, you can, again, like I said in the previous videos and in class, you can use your reference frame either from there if you want or from there. It depends on what you choose, you know. So let's. I'm going to choose my reference frame from here to measure my vertical distances. Okay, I'm going to measure it from the ground. Okay. So from the ground, I'm measuring from the ground. What is my final Y position? From the ground, my final y would be zero. What's my initial y? One point two. Okay. And what is my v zero? We don't know. We don't know what that is. What is my time? It's two point five seconds. And we plug all this in minus half nine point eight one two point five squared. Okay, then, so here we've got, and then this, let's just, let's just solve, as you can see, the only unknown we have here is V0Y. So let us solve here, V0, V0 in the Y direction, should give us 11.6. Okay, so this thing becomes this. And I just want to backtrack here. V0 in the X, okay, this V0 in the X should give us 20. Okay, taking this and solving for V0X, we're taking this, we're solving for V0Y. Okay, so now we've got this initial X velocity, we've got an initial Y velocity, but we're looking for that initial V0, or they call it VA. Okay, so remember that that original velocity, which they call VA, okay, which is the same as V0. Just recall that what? That is my V, let's, uh, let's keep it zero like I've been using, okay? That's my V0X, that's my V0Y. So how do I relate these to each other? So can you see that, that that is related to V0, V original, and that is a, a related to V original. So if this is the angle theta, what is Vx? What is V0x? That is, it's just, that is my original velocity cos theta. And what is V0y? It is my original velocity sine theta okay so let's reproduce um, that original one v0 x is 20 so what is v0 x v0 x is actually v0 cos theta equal to 20 and v0 so that becomes that then v0 y is v is 11.78, but V0Y is V0 sine theta, 11.78. So there are my two new equations that I need to work with. Okay? So let us just take this out like that. Okay? So I hope you're still with me. V0 cos theta is 20 and V0 sine theta is 11.78. So we've got two unknowns and two equations. Okay, if you go and solve that, right guys, that's pretty straightforward to solve. You should get theta, theta equals 30.5 degrees 
and my original velocity is 23.2 meters per second. Okay? So again, what is the basic idea? We looked at our horizontal information and we got we got this equation here. Okay, V0x. And we looked at our vertical information and we got V0y equal to that. But then we saw that these are both related to our original velocity using cos and sine. We substituted these into there and into there. And we got these two equations, which are these two. And we had two unknowns, two equations we solved for our angle. Okay? All right. Cheers.